Good morning everyone and welcome to morning prayer this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Beautiful snowy weather today to be inside and to be able to look out on. I hope you can enjoy the weather from inside today. If you need anything fetching or anything like that do get in touch with us at church if there's anything you need help with in this weather. Let's begin this morning with the opening words from the Church of England daily prayer service to bring ourselves before God today. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. And the night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We were speaking in morning prayer last week about prayer, given that the archbishops have called the nation to pray at 6 p.m. each day during February. But what also set us off on that track was thinking about the church that Paul wrote to in Thessalonica in the New Testament, saying that their faith had become known throughout their area. So we were asking ourselves what God might be calling us to do to be a people known for our faith. I'm going to keep reading today from the book of Esther in the Old Testament that Rachel, my wife, shared with our home group last week. Again, if any of you would like to join one of our home groups that are meeting online at the moment, then just get in touch with us. Reading from the book of Esther and again, chapter 4. Then Esther spoke to Hathak and gave him a message from Mordecai, saying, All the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces know that if any man or woman goes to the king inside the inner court without being called, there is but one law, all alike are to be put to death. Only if the king holds out the golden scepter to someone, may that person live. I myself have not been called to come in to the king for thirty days. When they told Mordecai what Esther had said, Mordecai told them to reply to Esther, Do not think that in the king's palace you will escape any more than all the other Jews. For if you keep silence at such a time as this, Relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another quarter, but you and your father's family will perish. Who knows, perhaps you have come to royal dignity for just such a time as this. Amen. Oh, God's word to us from the book of Esther, from the Old Testament today. As I said in morning prayer last Friday, Esther is a woman of Jewish descent, but living in exile in the court of a king in Susa, who has ordered a persecution of the Jewish people. Esther is being encouraged by her adopted father, Mordecai, to approach the king to beg for him to change his mind. Esther says to Mordecai, as we heard in the reading there, that to approach the king means almost certain death. Mordecai replies to her that nothing would probably, doing nothing 
and not going before the king would probably mean certain death to her as well. And so asks her to consider whether she has been given this place in the king's court for such a time as this. In other words, has she been placed there by God? What is God calling her to do in this difficult situation that she is in? We can well imagine Esther's fear and confusion. She is surrounded by death on every side. And again, without giving too much away, she does summon the courage to walk before the king and to plead the cause of God's people. So what does this mean for us today as we ask God what he is calling us to do in these times that we are in, these times in which he has placed us? Well, there's been a meme, a picture, going around on social media a lot over the past year. It's of Frodo saying to Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings stories. Frodo saying, I wish this had never happened to me. Meaning he wishes the one ring had never come into his possession. Gandalf replies, so do all who face such times. But that is not for us to decide. We only have to decide what to do with the time that has been given to us. So let's pray this morning to God and ask him what he is calling us to do in these difficult days that he has placed us in. How is he calling his church to serve in these times? How is he calling us to witness to our faith in God's love in these times? Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for the example of Esther, who showed such bravery in such difficult times for her. We pray for us, Lord, in these difficult times which we are experiencing. With our children at home from school, some of us doing vital but dangerous work. when we are isolated, when some of us face illness and bereavement without our families around us. Help us Lord all to know what you are calling us to do to show your love in our families, in our neighbourhoods, in our nation at this time. Lord God, help us to be prayerful as a church. We pray that as we're called to a special time of prayer this month, Lord, that you would speak to us, showing us what you would have us do, how you would have us love in such a time as this. In your name we pray. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power 
and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God bless you all today, whatever it holds for you. Do remember to join in with our call to prayer as a nation this evening at six o'clock. If you'd like to join with others doing that, then our neighbouring parish of Christchurch, Worksop and Shire Oak St Luke's have a service of evening prayer, night prayer at six o'clock from Monday to Thursday on their Facebook page. So if you'd like to join them, do feel free. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.